I am Specialist Aliyah Isabel Reese Hernandez. I'm with the 307th Chemical Company and we're out of Bell, California. So for our role, we're responsible for taking in casualties, whether they're able to walk, we'll put them in ambulatory decon. And if they're not able to walk, then we'll put them in non-ambulatory. So they get slided through a kind of like conveyor belt and they get washed and ripped out of their clothing. Um, after both of them go through, they make sure we use the tech decon unit and they provide us with the materials that we need to scan them, make sure they don't have any radiological or chemical substances still on them after the wash. Once they're clear, they're ready to head on and check with the medics to check their vital signs. And when we switch off with other soldiers, we also go through tech decon and they scan us and we wash ourselves through um, the lines for non-ambulatory and ambulatory and then it just switches off back and forth. It's important for us to do these missions because sometimes soldiers only get to practice what they learn in the school where they train from. Once they get to their unit, there's a chance that they may not be able to fully incorporate everything that they learn. This mission will help us prepare in case something does happen in the real world, and if not, it at least freshens us up with what we're supposed to do. The hot zone is basically considered the contamination area where the hazard was, and then that's usually where we will set up our decon area. We'll keep it between the hot zone and cold zone, and the decon area will be somewhat a warm zone is what it's going to be called. And then they just go through. Yes, it's basically just funneling soldiers through the, like the middle and then people come out the sides and that's kind of how it works. I am First Lieutenant Scott Leroy Sanchez with the 307th Chemical Company. And where are you based out of? We are be at, based out of Southern California, specifically Bear, Bell Gardens, uh, LA area. Here I am an operations officer, specifically safety operations. Today we are in Miskatatuck, Indiana Urban Training Center conducting mass casualty decontamination. The capabilities of the 307th are reconnaissance, which would go into an area, uh, find out what contaminant we're working with, and specifically I'm assigned to the mass casualty decontamination, which is just that. Um, we are currently conducting an exercise with a nuclear event where we have sustained tens of thousands of de dead Americans and we are charged with decontaminating tens of thousands, potentially. So today we began by staging back at Panther. From there we linked up with the civilians and they briefed us on our mission, what we, we were expected to do. We linked up with them and from there we came here and we did just that. We set up this entire training area behind me um, and from there we just did our thing. One thing that I will add on is that we are out here um, near the end of our mission. Pretty soon we are going to hand, hand this off and I feel that this is a genuine opportunity to actually come into contact with the American people. Every single soldier out here came up, rose their right arms to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and we all swore a creed where we serve the people of the United States. And this is that opportunity. Solid. Look at you.